In the beginning, we always sing our Chastushki. We have uh, plenty of them. Uh, this particular Chastushki that we just sang come from the central part of Russia. They're very famous in all Russia and they call Simeonovna. <clears throat> the next song uh, comes from the area where we all spent maybe five, uh, one of the most beautiful years of our lives and uh, where we've met each other. It was almost 30 years ago at the conservatory and we collected uh, many different songs in this beautiful area. So one of their uh, dancing songs we want to present right now. And the song is called Tsigani. У нас в арсенале было всего несколько музыкальных инструментов. Это был баян, была гармошка, которую вы сейчас видели, была балалайка, домра и вот, может быть, две или три жилейки. Ну и, конечно, были трещотки и губы. Все, на самом деле. И вот с помощью этих простых инструментов мы пытались сделать что-то оригинальное из того, что уже существует. Мы брали какие-то популярные пьесы и делали из них а, обработки. А вот сейчас как раз тот случай. Мы хотим вам сыграть а, самую первую нашу пьесу. Вот у меня лично она остается уже много лет просто нашей самой любимой пьесы. И мы ее уже много раз переделывали с другими инструментами, в другом составе. Но сейчас мы вернулись к тому варианту, который мы а, играли именно 25 лет назад. Это обработка популярной а, русской песни «Светит месяц» вот в том, в варианте, как это было 25 лет назад.
couple words uh, in English. Uh, you know that we all great graduated from Saranov State Conservatory. It was uh, many years ago, and uh, at first, uh, Lenin and Sergei were graduated as a uh, young players. So, so now you you had an opportunity to see how Lenin plays by young. She still does. Um, and then uh, they were graduated once again uh, as a full choir directors. And I've been graduated uh, as a clarinet and saxophone player, yeah. but it was many years ago. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and within these years, uh, we learned how to play much more uh, authentic, traditional instruments from Russia and world music instruments. We play now over 30 musical instruments, and we have the most part of them with us. So we will definitely demonstrate them all for you tonight. Um, and uh, uh, for now, we take a little break with the musical instruments. We will sing an a cappella song. We know that many people expect this song to come and we will sing it. It's a traditional <laughs> Georgian song uh, about uh, the great wine. Uh, there is not so many words uh, in, in the songs, but you will uh, realize uh, the fact that actually, uh, a, as in Russia, also in Georgia, we see more vowels than the consonants. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> this is the best demonstration. <laughs> so the song is called Shankar Vanahi. Uh, maybe 
even J Jason does from his first year when we played Loshiki with one of these songs <laughs> and some other professors. So you can join us, uh, you can sing uh, the songs with us. Just let us prepare. You know what has changed uh, within these years? Uh, first, uh, each of us took uh, his own instrument for the next uh, coming song. And now is Elena responsible for all these things, so she's coming over uh, and I have to give her one instrument, I have to pick up another one. And you know, when, when she is already in front of me, there is no way, like, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I should obey. <laughs> I have uh, no choice, you understand? Let's see. That's the way we live uh, with three of us. <laughs> So, uh, many of traditional uh, songs from Russia, starting from, uh, I mean, in our group, starting from 1994. But believe me, all these songs are more than 100 years old.
смотрите, пока Лена не забрала у меня инструмент, хочу показать вам. Да, пока не забрала, да, акцентируем на этом. Before she, she took it away, I wanted to introduce uh, these bagpipes. Um, you know, these bagpipes are occasionally from Belgium. And you know, we are uh, living in Belgium recently for the last 20 years. And uh, uh, these bagpipes are very close by tuning and the sound to the Russian bagpipes. So we just decided that why not we can use uh, three Belgian saxophones and Belgian Flemish bagpipes. That's it. <laughs> and a couple of words about the saxophones. You all know that uh, the biggest one is a straight soprano. I always still play on the sopranino, which is in, B, uh, in E flat. And the smallest saxophone in the world, you won't see it anywhere because there, is, there are only 150 of them were made. It's a Sabrina saxophone, the, the very unique instrument that we play. You see, we specialize more or less in, in the smallest instrument. And it's, it's not just so. You know, we always have a lot of troubles traveling with our musical instruments. Because if you take uh, only one accordion, it's 30 pounds. You see? Yeah, uh, one more accordion, which is 20 pounds, so you are already uh, out of the limits. Uh, and uh, when we take two or three saxophones, uh, and uh, you know, American uh, customs are very strict. Sometimes uh, they just, uh, when they screen in our coffers and they, they, they see uh, the quantity of flutes, they ask, what is it? And we say, flutes, what for? I say, to play, play it. <laughs> Yeah, believe me, this is not a joke, this is a real story, yeah. We played many times, we played accordion, we played balalaika and uh, uh, saxophones and all, all these flutes just to demonstrate that, uh, that they all belong to us and that we are able to play them. <laughs> and now it will be uh, one more chance uh, to demonstrate you our uh, special skills, uh, how to play uh, different uh, instruments in one uh, music uh, tune. Uh, this tune we made out of two songs, uh, both coming from Saratov. The first one is called uh, Along the Street and another one is called The Volga River. Uh, and uh, we will demonstrate also special musical instruments coming from the area of Saratov. Uh, the first one will be uh, Saratov accordion, so a special little, a little uh, accordion. We call it in Russian Garmoshka. There will be something else. Yeah, uh, I won't tell you about uh, all the surprises, of course. Yeah, you should see it first, and then I'll tell you uh, the names of the instruments. Okay, so let us play the tune. Thank you. Ah, yeah, Elena just reminds me. You see, uh, sometimes uh, I cannot just stop. Um, <clears throat> she says, uh, this is going to be uh, the last tune before the intermission. Yeah. Doug? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Ah, Doug is, the Doug is there, so the bar will be open during the intermission. And we will also uh, present our uh, CDs and DVDs, and there is also a special lottery, which is one dollar only, but you will be able to win some special surprises from some of the Thank you.
I believe it was clear that uh, Daniel is a son of Sergei and Elena. <laughs> oh? Ah, you didn't know that. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> and now uh, I would like um, to ask to join us uh, one more uh, Russian school student, a uh, good friend from Russian choir, Zhenya. Can you sing? You don't play bagpipes.
Я хочу сказать, что Женя не только играет на Валенке, на шотландской настоящей Валенке, но еще играет на скрипке и будет участвовать в нашем русском хоре. Конечно. Спасибо огромное, Женя. Вот видите, как интересно сцена объединяет совершенно незнакомых еще месяц назад людей. И в музыке мы находим очень много. Еще раз спасибо. That uh, next song uh, we want to dedicate uh, to our good friends and colleagues who uh, unfortunately passed away. Uh, they're not with us anymore, but we still remember, we still feel uh, their spirit around. Uh, we, uh, we see them all on, on the photos together. Uh, we spend many times, uh, many parties, we share many parties together. And uh, we know they loved this song as much as you all guys do. So this song is a traditional Cossack romance uh, from Volgograd and it's called Nie de Mnie.
Спасибо, дорогие. Знаете, что самое интересное, что мы вспоминаем наших коллег, которых больше, которых больше нет с нами, всегда с улыбкой на лице, потому что они были очень светлыми людьми. И давайте также продолжать в этом же стиле, и, наверное, музыка будет нам самым лучшим помощником. Спасибо еще раз. Okay, now uh, let me introduce one more special event. Um, you know, uh, we've been returning to Millbury for 19 years. And in this time we have met a lot of musicians, uh, a lot of professors, and we have made a very good friends here. And now uh, our friends, musicians, want to share this stage with us. Uh, I'm delighted to uh, introduce you uh, an excellent uh, musician, uh, Clementina de Most, who wants uh, to join us. She's the director of uh, choir in a French school. <laughs> and Pato Alvarez. It's like, um, you know, the energizer of Middlebury. This is Paka. This is kind of, how can I describe him? Now it will be something totally different. <laughs> no, don't say I cannot play. Uh, say I cannot play yet. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
is Russian music, but very different from what you've heard till now. It's not traditional, but classical Russian music. Sometimes it's really serious, you can see comparing our clothes, but it's beautiful too. This music happened to be very passionate, sometimes a bit dark, a bit sad, but very beautiful, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. 
Um, I hope you all noticed that uh, we've changed different costumes uh, um, tonight. Uh, so I wanted to tell a couple of words about the costumes that we uh, wear. So the red ones were from the central part of Russia. Don't think that Russians wear that all the, all the time. No, it's just uh, for festivities, you know. And this is a real celebration for us tonight, so a real party. That's why we are also wearing them. Russian traditional costumes. Um, and the white ones are uh, coming from the northern part of Russia. Uh, uh, these two shorts are uh, real old ones, probably 100 years old or something. And Alina, her costume was made by the professional uh, designer in Moscow uh, uh, on the old drawings of uh, northern costume. And I wanted to tell one more thing that uh, the part uh, that she had on her head was made by Anait. Спасибо, Анаит, большое. She's a great artist. Uh, she's full of uh, surprises every day. So we we knew she, she can do a great job out there, <laughs> and she did yeah, definitely. And also, Elena uh, uh, presented her. Gypsy costume. We weren't able to uh, change once again in Gypsy, but we'll do it some other time if we'll be invited again. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. And for now, uh, we have uh, kind of our evergreens. It's one more song from Belgrade that we love very much. I promised to tell you a couple of words. What are the songs about? Uh, now it's the moment. So this uh, song is about uh, one Russian lady who is instead of, she's uh, kind of a uh, housewoman, uh, but instead of, uh, you know, washing, uh, cooking, uh, uh, I know, ironing, everything, she's just sitting at the restaurant and drinking vodka instead. <laughs> you see? Huh? Yeah. And uh, at a certain moment she sees that her man is coming over. What happens afterwards, you will know if you listen to the song.
That was the moment to introduce uh, a couple more instruments that we play. You already know all the story about uh, our wind instruments, saxophones and clarinets. Uh, this instrument is called Bayan, of course, it's a very traditional Russian instrument. Uh, you see, uh, I'm uh, kind of smart, uh, I'm telling it all in English, but the names are Russian. You see? This instrument is called Bayan. That's it. Jason, as we arranged, 50-50, okay? <laughs> this, is, this instrument is called, it's not a tambourine, it's bubin. <laughs> this instrument is very interesting. Um, it's called rugi. Try to guess what Russians used this instrument for like 100 years ago. Any idea? Stirrupt. Молодцы, вы все, в общем, думаете в правильном направлении, но... но дети знают. It's an old iron device from Russia. You know how to iron uh, your clothing with this? Yeah, I'll teach you. So, you take your clothing around the bottle, uh, around an empty bottle. I mean, you, you know, when there is a full bottle, there is no time to iron. So, you take your clothing around an empty bottle, and you just uh, iron or stretch it this way. Hours and hours. Hard job of Russian women in 19th century and before. Elena. Uh, also, Elena presented uh, uh, her little plastic that she plays. For those who visited our mini concert, you know what it is. It's plastic from Russia. <laughs> This instrument has also a very strange name in Russian, Trishotki. Also we play a Russian pan flute that we call Kugikli, Kugikli, Russian название. Uh, and two more string, string instruments from Russia, Balalaika, the triangle, and Domra, the running one. And now is the moment to say once again, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for sharing this uh, event with us. For all these slogans, we keep it in our hearts uh, forever. Thank you, believe us. Uh, thank you, uh, Miller College, for uh, inviting us each year and for letting us uh, discover something new, trying uh, to be creative more and more, uh, working more and more on this. It's really the best job we uh, ever can dream of. And to end this concert, our traditional tune, uh, our instrumental version of a song and a dance from uh, White Russia, from Belarus, and it's called... Gulsa! <laughs>